All right, good morning and welcome to day two of the Overland Expo Pacific Northwest. Um, so today I'm gonna to show you around to the very few vendors that are here for motorcycle specific stuff. Uh, and we're also gonna see if my chain slider shows up. Uh, and if not, then Ash's bike is back there. I'm sorry, Ash, I'm gonna steal your chain slider. So <laughs> one way or the other, we're putting a chain slider on my bike today. All right, let's start off with, I hate doing these things, but this is a Moscow Moto booth, and you know I'm a huge fanboy, and if you're wondering why, I mean, just look at the bikes in their lineup, right? They're all little dirt bikes. That's what they have on display. So they make stuff for Enduro Touring. Uh, the difference between that and adventure riding is Enduro Tours tend to be more dirt, uh, more gnarly, uh, and you're still going a couple nights and look they only have one BMW in their whole adventure luggage setup uh, I think that says a lot they make clothes which you know I love uh, basically everything they make is bomb proof so yeah there you go Oscar Moto check them out go buy their stuff somebody needs to buy me this reckless 10 for my KTM all right this is Ruby Moto and they make lights for well for everything but they also make really cool lights for motorcycles and i think we got a big one and there's ruby wade yay ruby wade. Mm -hmm. and uh, here we go so these guys make some motorcycle kind of specific stuff too all right not selling accessories but selling entire bikes there's royal enfield and I actually know almost nothing about their bikes other than I've seen a couple people on Himalayans out on the BDRs. They look so retro though, right? <laughs> All right, there's a Triumph uh, dealer here too. And if you want to take a ride on one of the Tigers, there you go. Ural, right? Originally a Russian uh, motorcycle. I believe they were brought out by an American company. And the cool thing about Urals and their sidecars are the outside sidecar wheel is actually driven, right? There's a little drive shaft right there. So that's kind of cool. <clears throat> they probably do great on a BDR. Plus you could carry all your stuff. We got Giant Loop. They make bags and stuff too, waterproof. And whatnot, one of my favorite things is their gas bag. They are indestructible. Or, well, you know, as indestructible as a gas bag can be. <laughs> SW Mototech, these guys make more bags, tank bags, waterproof kind of stuff. The T7 all set up with their spare bags on top. Right, so lots of adventure -y kind of stuff. Remember, this is a Overland Expo, so all these guys are going to be moto camping. And the last motorcycle specific booth is the BDR booth, which they don't have any stickers. Yeah, right. All right, so that's pretty much it for the motorcycle specific vendors. And you see, I'm back here in front of Moscow Moto. I just had to say a couple more things. Now, Ron, yes, I'm a fanboy, I can't help it, but. Uh, right now, Pete and Ash are actually out scouting the Oregon BDR. Uh, they've uh, kind of sponsored the moto camping area. So we had live band, we've got awnings and chairs, and they gave us beer and drink. Uh, every one of these guys are all riders, right? These are all somebody's motorcycles. They're not just show bikes. And I, and I know most of them personally, and every one of them is one of us. It's just that simple. That's why I love this company is that they are us, just they're better at making shit than we are. <laughs> Normally I uh, carry the stickers with me and then I just go ahead and put them on when I get to the end of the trail, but I couldn't find it. So I don't have a Wyoming sticker. So I'm just gonna cheat a little bit and uh, just kind of add one in right there. And oh, look at that, I just, saw that ding that I took on my swing arm. <laughs> All right, 
welcome to the Moto Camp, where obviously everybody on their motos are camping. <laughs> Isn't this amazing? And like I said, thanks to uh, Ruby Lighting and Moscow Moto, they set up this little area for us to hang out at night and during the day. And uh, BMW Motorcycles Owner Association bought us coffee and breakfast in the morning and we have live entertainment at night. And uh, yeah, it's pretty amazing. It's a good time. All right, apparently FedEx has delivered the uh, chain slider to Brian, who is on his way here to deliver it to me and thereby saving my bacon. And here's everybody who showed up to listen to me yak and blab about my bike. Are we going to be on your YouTube channel? What's that? Are we going to be on your YouTube channel? Yeah, absolutely. Wow. Yeah. Unless you want me to blank out your face. Oh, no, that's fine. Okay, there you go. Brian came through. Here's my new chain slider. So we're going to pull all this off and uh, get in there and swap it out. Like I said, right now it's, it's looking a little sad. Right, the old one's off. I just gotta get this what's left of this bolt out. Right. And I get the new one put on. How many people does it take <laughs> to fix a Honda? Oh wait, I'm the That's only one with dirty hands. Never yeah, mind. Right, right, Never right. mind. Alright. And <laughs> just like that. We got a brand new chain slider and readjusted the chain as well. All right, now it's time to go get a drink. Yeah, everybody. All right, here we are in line for drinks. Well, actually, it's for a party. Well, this is the end of day two of the Overland Expo Pacific Northwest, and uh, we're going to end with the uh, moto party. It's, it's funny, I told you there weren't many moto vendors here, and there aren't, and there aren't many motorcycles here compared to all the trucks and the Jeeps and all that stuff, but the most fun crowd, the people with the biggest voices, People actually making this little party are all the guys and gals of ours. So um, it's a great time. So if you're thinking about uh, attending an Overland Expo, and you're kind of daunted by the fact that it's all a bunch of uh, Toyotas and Broncos or whatever, Jeep, don't even worry about it because you got brothers and sisters out here. Anyway. Uh, all right, so yeah, so today was actually pretty good. I got everything fixed. And we're ready to roll on into tomorrow. And tomorrow will be uh, the last day. Uh, and then I'll, uh, well, well, we'll talk about some other things tomorrow. Just for today, I just need to thank a, a couple people. I need to thank uh, Takamoto, Mike Spurgeon. I need to thank Eric, Eric with uh, Ruby Moto. <laughs> Uh, I need to thank Brian Price for getting that stuff for me. Uh, Mike Spurgeon Takamoto uh, offered to help out and is totally willing to do whatever it takes to, to help you out if you need any help. And obviously, uh, Moscow Moto for their offer of help and they're hang, putting up with me. I'm going to say hanging out with me. They're just putting up with me. Alright, cool. So that's the end of day two and I'll talk to you all tomorrow.